got a, I got a lot of tags happening because I just filmed the video you were about to watch and I didn't even do an intro. Hey everybody, I'm Brittany Baylin. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I do a lot of this. Are you judging my current outfit? Because you should, it's hideous. Here is the package. Let's do this. Let's try on my first ever Pretty Little Thing haul. Ooh, these look too big. Oh my God, are these European sizes? That, why did they spell caramel with a K? I guess the Kardashians said collab. Oh, these don't smell luxury. They smell like they've been mass produced without any love. All right, first look I'm gonna give you is all tan. Um, okay, well, I think you'd have to like have a cute lacy bra or buy your actual size. Oh, it's a size zero, that's why. I screwed myself. What? Are you, how's the CB? Because I remember you being $30, not $300. This is the color stone, but it's very much a nude. Stone to me would be more gray. Okay, these pants are pretty cool. They, they don't seem like the nicest material, but the fit is actually like not bad. I like how they kind of like come down at the ankle. They fit at a good like high rise. I'm not getting like super weird crotch stuff, right? They're very wrinkled, very wrinkled. These are the Stone Pocket Detail Cargo Trousers. I got them in a size 2, which I think is fits me perfectly, so that's like a size 25 or like, I'm 25 or 26 at Top Shop. With my 35% off, it came to $27.30. I think that's like a fair price for these guys. Top is also in stone, and it is the Stone Ribbed Extreme Scoop Net Crop in size 0. This is not stretchy. Um, I also feel like the little bit of like elasticness it does have, it will give out as you wear it, like it'll become loose. Not my favorite material, but it was only $7.80 with my 35% off. All the prices I name have about, they're just 35% off, so it is more expensive, but you guys, there's so many coupon codes for this. I did picture it with these shoes. I got them in a size seven. What the heck is this? Uh, they look bigger to me. Very weird. Oh, that's so stupid. You're not actually supposed to untie this. I bought these because they were supposed to look like the Louis Vuitton ones that are like $3,000 or something. The sand desert boots. I think that's, the, or the desert boots. Um, I mean, obviously Louis Vuitton doesn't do cheetah print, so they're not like an extreme knockoff, but the silhouette is definitely desert boots. Let's see how these fit on. Oh, yeah, they actually do feel like a seven. Um. Now what? Okay, I guess we do this. Ouch. Is that really it? That's the whole shebang? No. Oh, they did not make this easy. I did, I really messed this up. These shoes, bam, were the leopard print biker boot. They do come in like all tan, which I think was sold out, all black and all khaki. And they were $44.20 with my 35% off. They are comfy. And, and I think they're cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. What do you guys think? You like them? I'm still on the edge. I'm still holding out hope that stuff works for me. All right, let's try on another outfit and see how that works out. What? Okay, what? Um, what kind of material is this for pants? This is a camping tent. Actually, great camping pants. Not that I camp all that often, but you're literally one with the tent. These are so noisy. Just listen. Oh, they go around the ankles. Oh. Wait, how does the model have these on? Because that doesn't make sense. I mean, it helps with the silhouette a lot. You got this and then you got just like this. All right, I gotta put a top on that I bought to pair with these pants. Um, I think it's also the color stone. No, it's sand. Ooh, this is a good silhouette. And I see how this could be really cool in photos because like the way it hits you right here and the way this is like, but it's cut in a fashionable way, which I appreciate. So these khaki contrast pocket shell suit joggers are 2470. That seems a little high for can. I, I don't mean, you know what? I take that back. Tents are expensive. So that seems fair. The ultimate cropped sweater is $16.25. I would definitely pay $16 for a good cropped sweater. I know you can have a sweater yourself and crop it, but I feel like most sweaters are over $16 anyways, so I'm into it. Different material than expected, but color on point, and I could take a photo and probably get the same look as a Pretty Little Thing model. Is that a video? I think that's a video. Oh God, I really don't want to put on a sweater right now, but 
we doing it? What is happening? It's kind of cool with my camping pants. It's kind of a look. Oh god. We got see-through shorts, kinda. I mean, I'm wearing hot pink underwear, so that might be on me. Let me give you the full look. We're not half-assing this. We got looks. We got shoes. These are either like the ugliest shoes I've ever seen or like really cool shoes. They might be the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. Ooh, they're so comfortable. They're like the millennials version of Crocs. Ooh, these shoes. They are so ugly, but my God, they are comfortable. Oh, I gotta see Cody's reaction on these. Okay, so let's start from the top down. My hat is the woven baseball cap in charcoal blue, and it was only $6.50 with my discount code. Um, not mine, it was one I just randomly found online. And then the charcoal crop off sweater was $11.70. I got it in a size small. I would say, like, I like it, but it's just like, it's weird how it has this extra bit of fabric, you know? So like, sometimes if like, you don't watch what's happening, it pops out. But like, we don't need to spend money on Yeezy. This is like the Yeezy look for like 50 bucks. My hideous shoes, $18.20. And they came in an ugly, dusty rose color and an all black. Wait, that's so weird. My discount code didn't work on the shorts. So they're just $6 and they're in a size zero. They are the basic gray high-waisted shorts. But for $6, I mean, they're cute. Let's get Cody and ask him what he thinks of this. All right, come in, what do you think? Do you think it's cool, like hip, what the kids are wearing? No. They're wearing my boxers. What? Oh my god. They do look like Hanes, but like... What are those? What are those? <laughs> oh, I'm running errands. In my Yeezy wannabe outfit. In the year, like, 3030. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, if you want, you get this whole look. 50 bucks. I didn't even try to do that whole outfit under $50 challenge because... Really, it's not a challenge to be. That's... A pretty good budget for like an everyday outfit. All right, I'm starting to sweat. Let's do ooh, the next outfit. Actually, I don't even know what I had planned for it. All my outfits are very interchangeable. I can just take something else and throw it on top of everything and it goes. This seriously needs to stop happening. All right, this is the charcoal oversized boyfriend t-shirt, size small, $9.75. Oh my God, my eyebrows. My eyebrows, are they okay? I just imagine like oversized t-shirts being cute on anyone, but for some reason I feel like it's not cute on me. No, like maybe if I did pigtails, maybe if you could like see the shoes. Well, another under $50 look. I don't know, is it cute? Do we like an oversized t-shirt? I'll probably just end up sleeping in it to be real. Um, I'm gonna have to keep this hat on <laughs> the rest of the video. I have horrible hat here now and like a sweat foundation mark, so this is now a part of my look. What are you? Oh, I hate these. Size zero is very small. I should not, and this is not true to color. This is the first thing I bought from them. It says it's a dusty blue. I'm gonna show the picture. It looks like a very light gray blue. It does not look that sheer on the model. I thought it was gonna have some kind of a lining. It definitely does not. This is not appropriate. <laughs> kind of in love with these shoes though, not gonna lie. These are very unforgiving pants. <gasps> I've never met a pair of pants like this. I'm literally wearing like, yes, hot pink underwear, but they are like the no-show kind from Victoria's Secret. Like, they're the thinnest, nothing about them panties you can wear. And I can see a panty line. So these are in the shade charcoal. They're $16.25. I got them in a size zero, and yeah, I just don't like the material. Kind of like a very delicate Brillo pad. Yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. It doesn't say silky, it says slinky. Oh, I thought these were gonna be like really soft and like silky. That's my fault for reading fast. Well, I bought another pair of pants that were the same charcoal. Oh God, these say slinky cropped leggings too. I thought they were saying silky this whole time. Slinky and silky are very different. All right, well, let's see if the leggings are better than the joggers. I mean, I guess they look nice on camera. Do they? I'm very confused. So they're definitely a different material. They're not see-through. They're a little bit more forgiving, like they kind of hold stuff in. I can still kind of see an underwear line, but 
the material is like shiny in a very futuristic cosplay way. Like it doesn't look like clothing. The band up here is also really finicky. Like it's kind of like it folds over in a weird way. It's very easy to have it look bad. Yeah, there's something just uncomfortable about them. Like they're kind of like, they're not, like, they don't let my, they don't let my skin breathe really, I guess. I feel very, okay, this is the same sweater as last time, that dark gray, the charcoal one, but in a light gray, because I thought I was going to really like it. I'm on the edge right now. It's just like so off the shoulder. It's not even an on the shoulder. And these pants, you are asking, what an ugly pose I just did. I'll stop for you. These are the black stripe paper bag, which I just discovered is a new hot thing on the market. Paper bag pants have like, like they're tight normally, I think. And then they have this like, I guess paper bag-esque ruffled top. I got them in a size zero and they were only $16.25. That's, that's a good deal. Here's the behind look. Let me, give you all the angles. I don't know. I feel like it's drawing an unusual amount of attention with the pattern to the crotch area. Not like the biggest fan of that, but I feel like they're flattering. What? These sweaters are just doing the most. All right, the last thing I bought are these sunglasses. They are the Black Cat Islands Retro Sunglasses and they were $7.80. Ooh, these are actually, really cute sunglasses. I mean, now I don't know what's going on with the whole the whole fit, but the sunglasses and the hat, these pants are just not working. Yes, right? It's cute. The accessories, like their baseball cap, you know what, like I like, you can actually do it very wrong. I'll show you right now. Do we see how the fit is weird of this baseball cap? You wouldn't think you could mess up a classic baseball cap, but, I don't know, I just think the way it's hugging my head is so, and the brim, done wrong. All right, final results are in. My brain is thinking, what is my review? Um, okay, so let's start with the whole thing, how it says 30% off. I hope it still says it by the time I post this video. 30% off day 30 and there's a clock ticking down. That's BS and there are better coupon codes than that. I found one that was 35% off and then after I ordered, I found one that was 40% off and then after I ordered, they also sent me one that was 40% off. So ignore the whole clock ticking, take your time, buy whatever you want at your leisure, that clock is BS. I do think they have a great price point I do think I'll shop from them again. I do think I'll return things from this haul for sure. But I think without a doubt, if you're looking for something that will look good in photos, this clothing is really on point. Even the stuff that was like a little bit uncomfortable or like a weird material, I can tell it'll photograph really well. All right guys, well, I'm gonna get to doing some returns and taking some photos and some of this stuff because it's it's cute, it, some of it is. Like I could definitely do some looks. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any future requests for future places for me to review, there's definitely a still lot out there I have not tried and I love trying new stores. So let me know in the comments down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, or on my vlog channel. All right, bye.